All right, back at it again. Edward Anthony from Resolutions Digital here. Let's get right to it. Got an interesting question. Uh, hi, guys. I open an online store at Shopify this month on 14-day trials now, right? Uh, I don't want to sell product here in future. Can I close it before the trial ends? And if so, how do I go about it? How do I do it? Thanks. Well, I understood, even though there was grammar issues, but uh, who cares? Who's counting, right? All right, so... How do we close this down? So it's very simple, but I know that some of us might have some issues, and so I wanna cover all the steps here. Very, very simple stuff. If you guys wanna take a break on Shopify or anything like that, go on the bottom where it says settings, here on the corner, and go to where it says plan. And so on plan, if you come across this screen right here where it's like, okay, I don't know what to do, uh, I wanna make sure that you understand that, you know, however you signed in into the account, you're not the actual owner of the account. You're probably under as a staff or something of the sort. So if you come across this screen, that's what it looks like. So sign out, make sure that you're the owner, sign back in, and then you should see a screen that shows something like this, okay? Once you click on there, and then go ahead right here on the bottom where it says pause or deactivate store, and here comes Shopify trying to tell you some options as towards what you could really do. So right here, uh, let's let's just go over these real quickly. I need more time to get my store ready. So this will just bring you down to the lowest Shopify payments per month. That's right. The $29 one is not the cheapest plan. Uh, they have an even cheaper one, which is $9 a month. And so what that does is that it allows you to keep working on your store, right? Um, but, you know, no one would be able to buy anything. Right. I guess that's what it's saying here. So to my understanding, it's the back end. You have the back end, but I don't think the front end is accessible. In other words, anything on the customized team, it might be. I could be wrong because it could have changed it, but it puts your uh, plan at a very low server state. Right. Uh, so I guess to check out, you won't be able to check out. You won't be able to do test checkouts. Uh, make sure that no one could make an order. That's what the $9 a month is. So who is this for? Well, you know, if you're trying to take it one day at a time and you don't want to spend too much money or you're having a hard time finding a developer, you don't have budget for it, and you really want to take this slow. Um, but if this whole thing is just not working out for you because you realize, hey, you know what? I changed my mind. I don't want to do drop shipping anymore. I want to do this other business. It's just that I purchased this theme or I got this theme installed and I got all these products in here. I don't want to erase all these products just to start all over. You could if you want to, but that's where this second option comes in. This store isn't working out. Just give me a new 14-day trial and let me just start fresh, right? So that's what the second option would be. Let's talk about the third option. So the third option is basically it's like, you know what, we've, we're going through hard times or, you know, whatever concept concept we had in mind isn't just working out at this moment. Maybe you're at a point in your life, you're like, you know what, I'm going to concentrate on this nine to five for now and I'm going to rack up some more bread. I'm going to get some more money and then I'm going to come back. It's just that I don't want to be paying any type of monthly fees. I don't care if it's two dollars a month. I don't want to pay nothing because I want to concentrate on this other gig or I want to concentrate on getting money on the side and then I'll come back. Well, to some extent, here's the good news. You go ahead and deactivate the store, right? Once you deactivate the store, you know, Shopify will ask, well, do you want to do this? And they'll prompt you some other things, right? And then you say, no, I'm done. If six months down the line, you still have the same email that you came and did this, right? You go in and you're like, hey, you know what? My money is a little bit different now. I think I'm ready, but wow, to go back in and to add all those products, I, I don't know if I want to do that. You know, if that's the case, I don't think you have to worry about that. You could go ahead and pay for Shopify just as long as you have, you know, keep the myshopify.com, keep that URL name uh, and use the same email to log in and your account should be reestablished with everything there temporarily i'm talking about like let's say a few months but if you're like a year later shopify will just wipe out the hard drive of all the um products that you had in there probably even customers okay um and you might have to start all over again it's just that you're not going to get the free trial which at that case you might as well just make a new email and get yourself a free trial 
Something else I might want to add here that's very important before you go ahead and deactivate your store, very important, uh, go to your domains. Go to domains. This is critical. So domains, if you got it from GoDaddy or whatnot, what you need to do is unplug it from the store before you abandon it. Do you know how many people have had issues trying to reclaim their domain name after they just let go of a Shopify account that's like super dormant? And, you know, you probably sold it to somebody or you just totally forgot about it. And you're like, oh, my domain is stuck there and I can't pull it out. And then you're fighting with GoDaddy trying to, like, get things back up and running. So what I'm trying to tell you is, is that before you close your store down, make sure that you go to domains, press remove, okay, or change primary domain from your .com to the .myshopify.com, okay? Change, change it first. Put the store on maintenance mode. Then press remove as well as any other third-party domains. Press remove on all of them, okay? So what you're doing is you're unplugging the domain. And then once you unplug the domain, that's when you go ahead back to plan. You go right here where it says pause, deactivate, and then you uh, fully shut down. I'm only telling you this because I've worked with clients before that they had these domains and, you know, we're, we're about to launch and all of a sudden they're like, yeah, here's my domain, here's my GoDaddy, go ahead, plug it up. And I'm just like, Hey, yo, this is married to another Shopify. It's like, oh, that was years ago. I was like, okay, well, we need to go get it. And then it's just a hassle. Now we got Shopify support involved. Uh, then they're trying to retrieve the old account. They're trying to validate if that was really you. It becomes a massive nightmare simply because you forgot to unplug the domain. Now, if Shopify is watching this uh, word of advice that I would say is that if merchants are disconnecting or deactivating completely, the pop-up rather than trying to convince you to continue paying should be, hey, you might want to unplug the domain before you go. And then it's like, okay, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. But instead they stay quiet and they don't tell you nothing and that's why I'm making this video. So I hope you found some value to it. I hope this was uh, valuable to you. So even though you're not disconnecting right now, if you're ever going to disconnect in the future, please don't forget about your domains. And all I ask is for that thumbs up in the video so they can help the algorithm. Talk to you soon.